How's it going everyone? This is Young Shady Gaming and I hope you are having a fantastic weekend and today I'm here to give you four tips for starting a new game in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Do note that some of these tips are similar to the tips I gave in the Kingdom Hearts 1 video where I gave five tips for starting a game so there's only four tips in this one so without further ado let's get into it. Okay number one choices. Choices are in every game obviously so in this case uh, before you start fighting uh, in the struggle tournaments with uh, Roxas you get to cho choose between a struggle wand struggle sword or struggle hammer now these are similar to the sword shield and staff yeah sword shield and staff in Kingdom Hearts 1 where they choose how you get abilities uh, what level you unlock abilities and all that but this time it's a just a bit different. The one you choose will actually just give you a skill point in that stat. For example, if I choose the struggle sword, I would get a plus one strength stat. Struggle wand will give a plus one magic stat. Struggle hammer will give a plus one defense stat. Choose wisely and pick and choose to your playstyle. If you want to dish out damage, pick the sword. If you want to get more magic, choose the struggle wand. If you want to be a tank and use friends to your advantage, choose the struggle hammer. Number two, okay, so this one may sound like a repeat from the yeah re bleh, bleh, repeat from the Kingdom Hearts one tip, but XP grinding. But wait, you can XP grind as Roxas, and it will cross over to Sora. After Axel is frozen on day six, and Diz tells you to go to the haunted mansion. On the way there, enemies called Dusks appear. These respawn often, thus you can grind them for XP. From where Axel is frozen, all the way to the haunted mansion, try and grind Roxas to about level ten. This gives a transition to Sora, a leg up over bosses, and of course, normal enemies. Number three, similar to tip number two, XP grind spots are littered around the game. One that is very popular was Pride Rock, but it was patched in the remasters. So, PS2 players, you're in luck. You can still do this, but you just look it up on YouTube. You can you can find it easily. But for a new game on the remasters, find a spot in the world that you're comfortable with and bash enemies to keep gaining XP. This sometimes can feel like a drag, but since Kingdom Hearts is a PlayStation exclusive, on PS4 you can turn on Spotify and listen to some music in-game and make it feel like less of a drag. But since we're starting a game, I recommend the mansion's main room. Once you kill all the enemies here, then just go up into the library to the right of the entrance, and then come back out into the main room and bash Heartless again. They will respawn after you kill them all. Okay, number four, money will cross from Roxas to Sora as well. So this is another good thing to do. Grind out money as well. This will help you buy new equipment after transitioning to Sora. Accessories, shield and staffs for Donald and Goofy, potions, etc. are essential to completing the game, obviously. So it's good to have some starting money to get these. So there it is, guys. Four tips for starting a new game in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Yes, this works on PS2, PS3, and as well as PS4. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to drop a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Wait, subscribe as well. Got it memorized?